Jesus, the power of God, the anointing of God, and the love of Christ. Hallelujah! Glory, hallelujah! Hallelujah, hallelujah! Call the name Jehovah. Call the name that's above every name. Call the name that every knee must bow when you call that name Jehovah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on and praise God. Love of Christ Worship Center. I love you guys. And to all that are viewing us via live streaming and around the world, it's an honor and a privilege to share the good news of the gospel with you. And it's my prayer that something will be said that will encourage your heart and carry you throughout the week. So I want you to get your Bible and follow along as we get into the word. Hallelujah. So let us make our positive confession of faith. And we're going to do this together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I'm a believer and not a doubter. I'm a doer and not just a hearer. And my life is the better after hearing the word of faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Oh, give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm really excited to be here today. Great celebration. Celebrating our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And I just want to say to everyone, Merry Christmas. And I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out on Christmas Eve to be a part of this celebration. Amen. And that's the title of the message. Celebrate. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Luke, the second chapter. And we'll begin at the 10th verse. So let us pray. Father God, we come with thanksgiving in our hearts and praises on our lips. Lord, I'm so thankful for this opportunity that you've allowed me to be the vessel that you would use to speak to our hearts. And as your word go forth, Lord, I thank you that it will accomplish all that pleases you. That lives will be changed, souls will be saved, People will be delivered and set free. Shackles and chains will come off in Jesus' name. Amen. Open our ears to hear and our hearts to receive yes, what thus says the Lord. Amen. Thanking you in advance for all that you're going to do yes, through the power of your word. Yes, and we ask it all in the matchless name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Are you in Luke? Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to begin reading at the 10th verse. So bear with me a minute here. Luke, the second chapter, beginning in verse 10, says, And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Title of the message, celebrate. celebrate. You might have your seat. Amen. We are in a celebration. Christmas is a reason to
to praise and worship and give thanks and celebrate the gift that God has given to us. So this celebration is a celebration of all celebrations because we are celebrating the birth of our Lord and Jesus Christ. The long awaited Messiah was born. The birth of Jesus is the ultimate reason to celebrate Christmas. So today, I extend an invitation to you to come and celebrate with me. Psalms 34 and three says, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. So you have an invitation today to celebrate the birth of our Lord and our savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now, it's not good etiquette to come to the celebration and not bring a gift. Amen. So what do you bring to our Lord and our savior, Jesus Christ? What's an appropriate gift to bring? The wise men brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And that was appropriate for what they represented. But the question that I'm asking you is what do you bring to the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the almighty God who owns everything, who has everything? What's an appropriate gift to bring? That's a good question. And I'm glad you asked. You bring your praise. That's the appropriate gift. You bring your praise and your worship. Psalms 29 verse one and two says, give unto the Lord, O ye might. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. The glory due unto his name. And then it says, worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. And then if you go to a hundred numbers of Psalms and look at that fourth verse, it tells you how you are to enter into his presence. It says you enter his gates with thanksgiving and you enter his courts with praise. And it's telling us that we are to be thankful unto him. And there's another psalm that says, let your mouth be filled with praises. This is a celebration of the greatest gift ever. Christmas is a day that's set aside to celebrate Jesus. But for the believer, we should praise and worship Jesus all year long. Amen. We should keep our mouths filled with praise. Now that's a good thing to do, to keep your mouth filled with praise. In other words, when someone cuts you off in traffic, don't curse them out. Keep your mouth filled with the praises of God. Amen. You can speak a blessing over them. When you get upset, don't go off and have a pity party, a tantrum. Keep your mouth filled with the praises of God because he's worthy to be praised. We're celebrating Jesus today. Hallelujah. And I know some might say to me, well, you know, all that's good. But it's been a rough year for me. I've gone through a lot. I've had some tough times. And I understand it. But I say to you, in spite of the challenges that you might have gone through or the challenges that you might presently be in, in spite of that, you still have a reason to celebrate Jesus. You still have a reason to lift up your hands and to give him the praise and worship him because he's worthy of your honor and the glory and the praise. And keep in mind, whatever you're going through, Jesus is the answer. He's the one that can come to your rescue and deliver you out of whatever the challenge is that you might be going through. Luke 2 and 11 tells us, for unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. 
that says that Jesus is available to all. Jesus was born and made available to all of us, to each of us. And his birth is a gift to all of us. And he came to redeem us back to the Father. Just think about that for a minute. Think about what Jesus did for you, what he did for me. That now, because of the finished work of Calvary, he's available to all of us if we will accept him. He was born and made available to each and every one of us and born as a gift, our redeemer, to redeem us back to the Father. He came all the way down from heaven to see about me, to see about you. That makes Christmas personal. We all should take Christmas personal, what he did for us, because he didn't have to do it. Jesus didn't owe us anything. He's not in our debt. We was in his debt. But the creator of the universe became our redeemer. Oh, that's a reason to celebrate. John 3.16 tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you are whosoever, I'm a whosoever, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but what? Have everlasting life. Christmas is the day that John 3.16 manifested, it became a reality. The only begotten son was manifested when Jesus was born. Oh, that's a reason to celebrate. Come on and give God some praise. Celebrate the gift, the greatest gift that has ever been given. God so loved. He didn't send a substitute. He didn't send a prophet. He sent us his best, his only begotten son. Oh, what a wonderful gift. Hallelujah. The God of all creation was given. You see, when you think about Jesus in the manger, as I said in a previous teaching, not just a baby, more than a baby. So when you look at that baby laying in the manger, you're looking at the savior of the world. You're looking at the creator, the almighty God, wrapped up in swaddling clothes in a baby, in a manger. And not only that, but wrapped up in the manger, and swallowing clothes is gifts, benefits that Jesus bring when he come. Yeah. Oh God, and there are many benefits. He came with many benefits when you accept him as your Lord and Savior. But for the sake of time, I'm going to share three of those benefits with you. Three A's. Access. Three A's. Number one, we'll start with acceptance then access and authority. Jesus came, he gave us acceptance, access, and authority. You see, the only way back to the Father is through Jesus. When Jesus died on Calvary, shed his blood and paid our sin price, he bridged the gap between God and man, and he gave us acceptance back to God. So now we can go to the Father boldly in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's no gap there anymore. You don't have to have a priest or a prophet to go to him for you. You can go to God for yourself boldly to the throne of grace and obtain mercy, acceptance. Hallelujah. When you accept Jesus as your local, as your Lord and Savior, you are accepted into the family of God. You're accepted into a kingdom family. And with it come many benefits. Amen. Secondly, you have access. You're accepted and then you have access. Access to what? To approach the throne in Jesus name. And when you go, your access code to enter the presence, into the Father's presence, and to get your prayers answered is Jesus. Amen. Because when we go to him, we go in Jesus' name. You have access. 
to healing in the name of Jesus. Access to peace, a peace that passes all understanding, a peace that the world don't understand because you can be going through challenges and struggles in your life and still have the peace of God in your life. That's a peace that the world don't understand. And he can give you joy, unspeakable joy, that you can rejoice in the middle of whatever the challenge might be. You can have the joy of the Lord because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Oh, yes. We have a reason to celebrate. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for the precious gift of your darling son, Jesus. You have acceptance into the body of Christ because of Jesus. You have access to the Father to approach the throne in Jesus' name and access to all of the benefits in the kingdom. And then you have authority. We have been given authority. We have the authority to use Jesus' name. We have authority to use the blood. We have authority to cast out demons. Authority to keep Satan under our feet where he belongs. Hallelujah. That's an authority that we can walk in because God has given it to us. You're an overcomer. You're, you can walk in victory. Why? Because Jesus has given you power and authority to shred upon serpent, serpents. Hallelujah. That's a reason to celebrate Jesus today. Glory be to God. Thank God for Jesus. We celebrate Jesus today. Christmas is all about Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, who has given you and I acceptance into the kingdom of God and given us access to the Father and all of the benefits that come as being in the body of Christ. And then he has given us authority and we can walk in victory today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We have the three A's, acceptance, access, and authority. Do you understand? Are you really getting a picture of what I'm saying to you today? Amen. Let me give you another example. Many of us have roadside service called AAA. And if your vehicle breaks down, Triple A come to your rescue. If you're on the side of the road with a flat tire, they will come and fix your flat. And if they can't fix it, they'll change the tire. And if your battery is dead and you have no power, they'll give you a boost. If that doesn't work, they'll change your battery. You've locked yourself out of your vehicle. They'll come and give you access back into your vehicle. Oh, yeah. And anything that can't be fixed there by the road, by the highway, AAA will throw it, will tow your car into the shop to get it fixed. Oh, there's many benefits to being a member of AAA. Hallelujah. Now, there's a qualification for, being, for them coming out when you call them. That means you have to be a member. And you get on the phone and you call AAA and you tell them about your problem. They'll ask you, well, what is your number? What's your policy number? When you give them that number, they're going to send out a vehicle, a truck to rescue you out of your situation that you're in. So it is with the body of Christ. If you have your life, have a flat tire. Jesus is coming to your rescue. If your battery of life is dead and you have no energy and you're just going through so much, the Holy Spirit, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, is going to come and give you a boost to get you back where you need to be. Oh, yes, we have a reason to celebrate today. And then if you're locked out and you've fallen down, God's going to give you access back to where you need to be with him. When you come to him in prayer, we had a reason to celebrate today. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Tell your other neighbor, celebrate Jesus. celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. 
there's many benefits that come with being in the body of Christ. In case your life have fallen apart by the wayside of life, your dreams and visions are scattered, are shattered. When you're broken up on the inside, just like the song by the Hawkins entitled The Potter's House. And in that song, she says, you don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. The potter wants to put your life back together again. So when your life is falling apart and it feels as if you have no hope and you want to give up and throw in the towel, just know today you don't have to stay in the shape that you're in. The potter, Jesus, wants to come and put your life back together again. Give God some praise for the gift that he gave us. Praise God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If your life is turned upside down and all you've accomplished have fallen apart, you don't have to stay in that situation. Jesus is the answer, the potter, Jesus. He wants to put your life back together again. So if you're filled with fragments and your life is broken, the potter, Jesus, wants to mend your broken heart. He came to restore your relationship with the Father, and it cost him his life. Amen. So whatever it is today that you are going through, whatever your challenges might be, just be encouraged because Jesus hung on Calvary, bled, suffered, and died, and rose on the third day. He came to put your life back together again. Yeah. You don't have to stay in the situation that you're in. We have a Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that will come to the rescue. That's a reason to celebrate. Oh, I'm so glad today that God sent Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that Jesus accepted the challenge and he left all of his glory in heaven and came down here to see about me, to see about you. Because we were all messed up. We were lost. We was out at sea. We didn't have a sail to get back in. There was no lifeboat, no lighthouse to guide us in. We were lost at sea and we couldn't come in. But Jesus sent out a lifeline when he sent his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to redeem him back to himself. Oh, you don't have to stay in this condition you're in today. You don't have to be lost with no hope because Jesus came to put your life back together again tell your knife G tell your tell your neighbor jesus came to put your life back together oh church we have a reason to celebrate we have a reason to celebrate today so many reasons to celebrate when you think about what it costs jesus that we could have the right that we have today That's a reason to celebrate. That's a reason to lift your hands and to give God the glory and the praise and the worship that he's so worthy of. Yeah. Our salvation is free, but it costs Jesus everything. It cost him his life. That's a price that he paid. I have four sons, five sons, six sons. I'm going to count them. I lose count sometimes. <laughs> but right now, I have five. I lost one this year. And that was a real challenging time for me. That was a gut punch. But I knew that God was on my side. I know that I didn't have to give up, cave in, or quit. Oh, yes, I cried. When I felt like crying, I cried. You know, Jesus wept by Lazarus' graveside. So whatever I needed to do, I needed to do, and I did it. I cried. But I didn't have to sorrow 
as those that have no hope because I know where my son is at today. I know that I will see him again when I leave here. So in the midst of my sorrow, in the midst of my pain and the hurt that was in my heart, the, so, the hole that was left there because my son was gone, Jesus came and he filled it. He put me back together again. So when I talk about my son now, when he passed and people would ask me uh, what's going on, I could not call his name without going to pieces in tears. But I stand here today and I said, Lord, I thank you for Derek. Amen. I thank you for 58 plus years that I had with my son. Amen. Oh, yes, it was painful. It hurt and it still hurts. But I stand here today to tell you I sorrow not as those without hope yes. because yes. Jesus came and he gave his life and he has put me back together again. Amen. I celebrate Jesus today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a day of celebration. And I say, happy birthday, Jesus. I am so glad that you came. I am so excited that Jesus sent him. And I say to you, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I don't know your plans for the holiday. Whether you're going to be at home by yourself or you're coming together and celebrate with your family. But whatever you plan for Christmas, Keep Jesus at the center of your celebration Amen. and never forget, never forget this season is all about Jesus. Jesus is the center of the focus of Christmas. Amen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Celebrate Jesus. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. We never want to close our service without giving you the opportunity to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. So if you're here today, or if you're viewing us via live streaming around the world, I want you to give me your undivided attention and pray the sinner's prayer after me. This will be the day that you will never forget. The day before Jesus was born, you gave your heart to him. So we're going to pray the sinner's prayer. And I want everyone to pray it with me because we don't want to single out anyone. Repeat after me. Lord, I'm a sinner. I'm in need of a savior. I believe Jesus died for my sins. He was, he was buried and he rose on the third day. He, he, is, now he is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Right of the Father. Come, into Come into my heart and save me now. And save me now. Thank, you, Thank you, Lord, for saving me. For saving me. If that's you and you accepted Jesus into your heart, the angels in heaven are celebrating over the decision that you just made. And we are rejoicing with you here at Love of Christ Worship Center. Hallelujah. And I want to encourage you, get into a good Bible teaching church that you can grow in wisdom, in knowledge, and in the things of God. Love of Christ is such a church. And we welcome you here. We are a local church with a global vision. If you're in this local area, we welcome you. But you don't have to be in this area to become a member. You can go to our website, follow the instructions, and join. And we would love to have you. And I want to encourage you, don't let this year go out without you getting involved having a fellowship with the body of Christ. And if you're in need of prayer, at the end of the service, you can see myself, Pastor D, a prophetess, and we will be more than happy to pray with you. God bless you. Come on, put your hands together, give God some praise.
the most high God, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. He's worthy of all of our praise. And we just want to honor and praise our, our, our pastor today for a powerful word today to celebrate Jesus. Amen. Can we celebrate her today in the name of Jesus? Amen. And give her some praise. Give God some praise for her today. I mean, amen. Praise the Lord. Well, it's time for giving and receiving. It's a part of the worship service where we all get to participate. And we want to thank God and praise God for you all being here today. Thank you for those that are viewing us online and worshiping with us today. If you would like to give, we ask that you please go to our website center, loveofchristworshipcenter.org, select the give icon, and from there you can fill out the questions in its entirety. If you would like to text to give, please text the word G-I-V-E to 708-377-2911. Again, text the word G-I-V-E to 708-377-2911 if you would like to text to give. For those that are in the sanctuary today, if you have an envelope, we please ask that you fill that envelope out in its entirety and then drop it in the offering basket as our ushers or greeters come around to collect let us pray father we thank you lord for this opportunity to sow into the kingdom of god we thank you lord that you've given us seed to sow we thank you lord that you've pressed upon our hearts what we should give and how we should give today we thank you lord that it shall come back to us good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give into our bosom father we thank you for a hundredfold harvest on the return on our behalf and we thank you that it will go forth to propagate the gospel of jesus christ for those that don't know you, O oh God, to come into the knowledge of you and accept you as their Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We also want to acknowledge all of our visitors that are here that came out this afternoon to worship with us on this special Christmas Eve today. Thank you for joining us. Um, thank you for being a part of this worship service with us. We appreciate you coming out and joining us. We know that you could have gone many places, but you chose to worship God here at Love of Christ Worship Center. And we thank and praise God for you today. We thank you that a word of God has fallen on good soil for your hearts are good soil and that you will grow thereby and that your life has been changed for the greater and for the better and that you will not go out the same way that you came in, but you have grown in Christ and that you have found love with him in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right, we have a few announcements before we have our dismissal. Um, and that is for our Zoom Bible class will resume um, on January the 17th. Um, that's in 2024 at 7 o'clock p.m. If you're interested in being a part of that Bible study with us, please go to our website, Center Love of Christ Worship Center.org, select the media icon, and from there, there's a direct link that will take you right into our Bible study classes every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Again, they will resume on January the 17th. Our foundation classes will all res also resume in the year of 2024. So if you are interested in taking our 10-week foundation classes, all about learning about Christ um, and having a biblical foundation on your faith, we ask that you please be a part of that with us. And we generally have it um, after our services on Sundays. And again, we will resume in 2024. Last but not least, if anyone is interested in being baptized, if you've gotten saved and you have not been baptized, please see me immediately following service today. And we will make sure that we put you on the agenda for next year so that you can have the baptism that you're looking forward to. Amen. All right. I think all of those are our announcements and um, let's stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all of those that are worship with us today. Those that are online, thank you for taking time out to worship um, for your Christmas Eve. We know that your families are here and that um, that you're, you're being a part of that with them and celebrating with them. But we thank you for taking time out to worship with us. And for always and always, as we say, we pray that the same anointing that rested in this house rested in your house as well. Amen. Amen. All right, Father, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to worship you today. We thank you for the word of God that has fallen on us today. We thank you, Lord, that we're able to celebrate you, celebrate Jesus, oh God. We thank you, Lord, as we celebrate. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that we remember those that are just um, less unfortunate, Father, than we are, and that we will show forth the giving that you have given to us. We will show forth your loving kindness, your love, your mercy, your grace, oh God. And we thank you, Lord, and we praise you that you have given us the opportunity to show forth the fruit of your spirit. And so we lift up your name, God. We thank you, Father, and we praise you that we will not go out the same way that we came in. 
But God, we thank you for your grace, your mercy, your goodness. We thank you for your word, that we were hearers of your word, and that it fallen on our hearts, and that we sin not against you, but we walk up right before you. In Jesus' name, we pray for those that are traveling today as they go back to their various destination, that they have traveling grace, and we cover them with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, let's do our positive confession of faith all together on the count of three. That's on our wall and it's on our um, projected on our um, projection screen on three, one, two, three. Let's say it. This church is blessed and we are blessed. Wall to wall people here. Every time we meet, we are purpose driven people of a purpose driven church harvesting souls. Amen. May the Lord keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and may he bring blessings upon blessings upon blessings in your life. Remember Jesus loves you and so do we. Amen. 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 Be dismissed and Merry Christmas to you all.